Salam to all my students. Today we are going to learn about evaluating location using cost profit volume analysis. Our learning objective at the end of this topic, students should be able to number one differentiate between fixed cost and variable cost. Number two, draw the cost profit volume analysis graph and number three Determine location superior on the graph. Okay, before we uh, draw our graph, we need to know what is fixed cost and what is variable cost. A fixed cost is a cost that does not change with an increase or decrease in the amount of production output. Fixed costs are expenses that have to be paid by a company. For example, Rental of land, cost of equipment, insurance, property tax. While a variable cost is a corporate expenses that change in proportion to production output. Variable cost increase or decrease depending on a company's production volume. For example, cost of raw material, labor, utilities. After we determine our fixed cost and variable cost, we will plot the total cost on graph paper and after that, we will determine the lowest total cost. Okay, now we go to assumption. Okay, number one, fixed costs are constant. Fixed cost graph is a graph with horizontal line. So, fixed costs are constant. Okay, number two, variable costs are linear. Okay, variable cost graph is graph start with origin, 0, 0, and then the line is increased. So, variable costs are linear. So, total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost times x x is quantity okay the graph of total cost okay, we have y axis y axis is cost and x axis is quantity and then the line uh, will start from y intersect with fixed cost value and increase as a linear line uh, with total cost value. So, the, the important data uh, we need to determine is fixed cost and total cost. Okay, let's do example 1. Uh, we have four potential locations. A, B, C, and D. Okay, this is the fixed cost and this is a variable cost. Uh, we will draw our cost volume analysis graph and we will find which location is the best to set up our business. Total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost times X. X is quantity. So first, we need to uh, choose any number of x any number okay how to choose the number of x x should be given a simple number of total cost that we need to plot in our graph paper okay if I choose x equal to 1 and then what happened to our total cost ok now we focus to location A so the variable cost time x is equal to 11 ringgit and our total cost is 250,000 and 11 ringgit so this number is very difficult to plot in our graph Okay, 
next if I choose x equal to 100 so the variable cost times x is equal to 1100 ringgit so the total cost will be 251,100 ringgit so this number also difficult to plot in our graph now we choose x equal to 10k so the variable cost time x is equal to 110k and the total cost is equal to 360k so this number is more easy to plot in our graph okay next we will find the total cost for location b c and d so we will choose the same 10k for the all location okay the variable cost time x for location b is 300k for location c 200k for location d is 350k okay the total cost is 400k 350k and for location d is 550k how to draw the cost profit volume graph number one draw the x and y axis on the graph paper number two label the x axis as cost and the y axis as quantity number three identify the range of data for y axis determine the lowest number and the highest number from fixed cost and total cost data from the data we can see the lowest number is 100k and the highest number is 550k and then we plot our scale start from 100k to 550k and make sure our 550k should be around here and we need some space uh, for the line intercept For x axis, plot the quantity number that we have chosen, x equal to 10k in the middle of the graph paper around here. And make sure to do not uh, plot the number more than half graph because we need this area for the line intercept. Number 4. Plot fixed cost and total cost for location A. Uh, for fixed cost, location A is 250k. So 250k will be plot at Y intercept. For total cost, we will plot at 10k line. After that, Draw the line and label the line. Number 5. Repeat the location B, C and D. Number C, identify the location superior. First, identify the bottom line. Second, identify the line intercept. One, two, two intercept. Draw a dotted line from intercept point 
to the x axis. First point and second point. Last, label the location superior. For the first superior, is belong to green line, which is B. Superior B. For the second superior, it belong to the purple line. So this is a superior C. And last superior is belong to the red line, which is A. So this is superior A.